Would you mind being interviewed real quick? <laughs> Who am I being interviewed for? Um, it's for an organization called News to Share. What we do is we document activism throughout the country. Um, so we're currently live on Facebook here. So okay. um, just first off, uh, just start off by telling us your name. My name is Rosa. Rosa, pleasure. Um, so what uh, what brings you here today? I was actually born and raised here. Okay, so you're from Pikeville. Yeah. All right, yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, and like, uh, just what are your thoughts on this whole situation going on right now? It's a little insane. It's insane. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit insane. Yeah. I, I don't know. I I feel like we're taking like five steps backwards right now. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. I understand what you mean. Um, so like with that in mind, um, what are your thoughts on um, on both of the sides here with regards to these or individuals or with the individuals that you're standing with over here? Oh well, I'm I'm actually not standing with any side. So you're just as an individual coming well, by? Yeah, I mean, I I, I want to be present for whatever change is happening here because I I want to be part of the change. All right. Just, Having been raised here and Absolutely. not really be an insider, kind of just uh, right. it's important. Uh, Absolutely. But I really love this place. You love and, Pikeville? Uh, yeah, and uh, you know, I don't, I don't know if radical change is <laughs> right. either way is really, you know, gonna happen. We, we, we tend to think ourselves as more peaceful and family oriented. And, right. You know, close knit. Yeah, absolutely. Um, now, uh, one thing. Um, what are your? Um, so, why do you think these groups chose to have their uh, little battle in this city here in Pikeville? Well, geographically, politically, it's a very strategic place. There's a federal courthouse here. We're in the biggest county in Kentucky, and we border Virginia, West Virginia. And if you go a little further into southwestern Virginia, you get into Tennessee as well. So, okay. it, it is a very Okay, understood. I mean, it, it, and um, there is a lot of discontent with, you know, uh, white American families who have no jobs, the whole industry going down, that sort of thing. So I see why this group is here, but they're not really welcome. Right. I mean, okay. The town has definitely expressed their wishes, and, but freedom of press, freedom of expression, freedom of Absolutely. Yeah. So, what do you think about um, Pikeville Police and Kentucky State Police being here um, with, with regards to this whole thing? I feel very safe. You feel safe? Do you, uh, so you support what they're doing here, making sure everyone here is okay? Oh, absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Wonderful. Thank you. It's been a pleasure Thank talking you. with you. Pleasure talking with you. Stay Thank safe. you. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, with regards to the video quality, the problem is we are in um, Pikeville, Kentucky. It's a very rural area, So if you guys have any questions you'd like for me to ask any individuals, uh, let me know. I can do interviews here. Hi, would y'all be free for a quick interview? Would y'all be free? All right. Um, would y'all be good for an interview? Or I'm sorry. What's it about? Uh, it's basically just about this whole thing going on right now. Just want to get your take on it. You don't care? It's a joke. Go ahead. I don't believe anything. It's a joke. We all belong here. We have learned it. So you're from Pikeville? Yeah. All right. Wonderful. I grew up a state champion football. Oh, wow. Well, I watched all these color boys come in here, and we've learned to get along with them. Yeah. And get up out of our town, go on about this stupid shit, and leave us alone. I wish they were actually for them. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. Come so, to the chicken fights on Saturday night. I'm 
sorry. <laughs> so, absolutely. So, uh, why do you think they chose this area for this organization? For this, this is a laid-back town, man. This, you know, they know this is less likely for riots, less likely for bullshit. They don't understand us white boys don't want them here. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. I'm sorry. I'll take the money. You'll take the money? Yeah. They're not backing you. So, so I want out of it. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys very much. Me guys, um, would y'all be free for a quick interview? All right, awesome. Um, so just a, a quick rundown. I'm from an organization called News to Share. What we do is we document activism throughout the United States. So I'm just to give a perspective from like what's going on throughout our country. So I just, I'm just wondering, uh, what brought you out here today? Across the street. Across the street. <laughs> so, um, are, um, are you from this area? My family is. Your family is. Oh, Columbus? Okay, well, all right, cool, cool. So yeah, with that, I'm just curious, um, like, what are, uh, why do you think they chose this area? I think they were still under the impression that this was, you know, racist still, white community, not very much diversity here, but I think they're seeing that even though it is dominantly white, that they're not, you know, for that. So. Right. Okay. I understand. Um, can you uh, explain your si sign here real quick? I'm I think it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> just wanted to just like sort of get your perspective on it. Um, I'm guessing you're the artist. Uh, yep. All right. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, I just wanted to just get as many perspectives of this as possible. So, but, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So that's an individual from the Antifa. Um, so we've just been doing interviews periodically, just trying to make sure people are sort of. Excuse me, sir, would you be free for a quick interview? All right, thank you very much. So, uh, just thought i tell us your name. My name is Rob Music. Rob Music, pleasure. Um, so, I'm just wondering, uh, what brought you out here today? Uh, I didn't want clergy in our community to be silent. I'm a pastor in the community, and I feel like uh, I'm deeply committed to the role of peace and justice and nonviolence, and I feel like we have to speak to both sides. about local people saying, you know, we love the Lord and we can do this right. Yeah. All right, thank you. So, why do you think these groups chose this uh, this city specifically? For a hundred years, people have been shaming Appalachian people, and they think that we're ignorant hillbillies who can't speak for ourselves on both, on both sides. It's Appalachian shaming. It's Appalachian shaming? Yeah. And same thing happened with Kim Davis, as always. Any opportunity you can make Appalachian people look stupid, it's like, here we go, you know? Understood. So... That's yeah. Here today. All right. So, is there anything else you'd like to say for our audience here? Uh, just, just pray for us, and you know, love somebody because that's the only answer for all this kind of heat. All right. Thank you, sir. God thank bless. You, appreciate you. Would you be free for a quick interview? All right. Thank you. So, just a brief rundown. I'm with an organization called News to Share. What we do is we just uh, track activism throughout the country. So, I just want to get your perspective on what brought you here. from Virginia in Wise County, Virginia. Okay. Uh, about a little over an hour away. I heard about this a few months ago and uh, 
Let's come here to let them know they're not welcome here. Okay, understood. So, why do you think they chose this area for this? I want to you out in Germany, um, well, actually, uh, learn the probably economically. Uh, economically, Appalachia is very depressed, so they think they can use their a bullshit economic message to come down here and prey on people and then get them to uh, um, recruit and deflect to their side uh, and it's not going to happen. Okay. So is there an issue here that particularly matters to you the most? Um, yeah. All together, there's tons of issues here, but of course, uh, uh, to me, there's a stereotype of a lot of ignorance uh, um, in, in my region and I've been growing up here and living here for the last 27 years. People like this come to town and they have a few supporters. Uh, we want to come out and make sure that, uh, that they are in the minority. They are very much the minority, we are in the majority, and that uh, ignorance will be trumped. All right, well, thank you very much, sir. Have a great day. You too. Would you be free for a quick interview, man? Sure. All right. It's about the same with you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. So, I, I'll definitely go on to you after this. All right, so yeah, I just wanted to just hear what your thoughts are on this. Um, I heard that you like got into a little bit of a shy match with one of the individuals over there, yeah. so I'll probably go and talk. I'm sorry. They just make me mad. They make I'm you mad. Angry. Yeah, because they they represent hate and they represent the face of evil in America. Okay. So, yeah, and I'm from these mountains too, and right. the reason they chose here was exactly what Matt said. Absolutely. So, yeah, that's sort of the thing out there. Is like, is, are there any particular issues that is specifically matter to you more than anything else? Hate, hate. hate against other um, races. Hate against so the human race. Period. Okay. There's no place in America for that, and there's no place in this in the Appalachian Mountains. I don't know why they thought that they could come here and do this because it's just not kosher. It's not. It's not right. So we're not going to allow them to have. Right. Um, so I'm about to go over and talk with them as well. Is there anything you would like to like to ask them? Like, is there if there's? There's nothing going to get through to them. I, no, I don't even no, no, I don't even respect them enough to ask them anything. Okay. Because to me, they're flat trash. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Man. So I was told to come over and interview you. So I'm just curious, uh, what uh, what brought you over here today? Um, well, I my town. It is my home. Um, I love it, and I love Okay, so you're here with giving local people. Yeah. So, uh, what a, what a, can I get, get an explanation for your sign? Pizza um, for pets. I have pizza and water in my backpack, ready for anyone that wants it. Literally okay. anyone. Alright, wonderful. Well, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. So, yeah, I'm about to go over to uh, this end of area over here. Excuse me, sir, would you be free for a quick interview? Would you be free for a quick interview? That's our spokesman, sir. Alright, wonderful. Thank you very much. How you doing, sir? Uh, all right, I'm just, um, I just want to give you a quick rundown. Um, I'm with an organization called News to Share. What we do is we document activism throughout the country. Um, so I just want, want to know, uh, what brought you over here to this, uh, for this? Uh... Well, you know, we've been in this area before. Uh, a couple of years ago, we came up here to Pikeville and Prestonburg and had a dem public demonstration in support of the coal miners. Okay. Who at the time, were being uh, hurt pretty badly by the Obama administration's regulations against coal. So we think that this this is one of the many areas in the in the south, particularly the upland south, where we can reach our our people, white working class type people, with a, with a message of southern national. So we decided to come up here today, and we got we have some friends in the traditional workers party, uh, and they said they were having a rally and invited us to come and spread our message. So we took them up on it. So we came and sort of staked out the place here. But we're here basically to exercise our free speech rights and okay. to spread our message of Southern nationalism. Okay. So um, one of the things that you will hear from the other side of there is that like they were calling you guys Nazis and fascists. So I just want to know if you have a response to that. As far as I know, Nazis disappeared from the face of the earth in 1945. It's a it's an ideology that is historical and gone. Now, on the other hand, and most of these people over there seem to identify with communism. It's a force in the world that is still out there and still responsible for the deaths of millions and millions of people over the last century. So, okay. uh, no, we're Southern nationalists. Now, we stand up for our people, which is white Southerners, 
And if they think that makes us Nazis, then that's, I guess, their right to call us what they want to. But we're Southern Nationals. So you can see the East White flags or Southern Nationalist flags. And uh, you'll see some Confederate battle flags mixed in to honor our heritage. But these black cross flags here are, are the League of the South Southern Nationalist flags. Okay. Well, thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Would there be an officer that could be interviewed, sir? Officer available for an interview? Later. Later. Thank you very much. interviewed real quick? Uh, we have a spokesperson. Who do you have? Who did we decide? What was it? Hunter? Who are you going to with? I'm with an organization called News to Share. Uh, we're an organization that documents activism throughout the United States. I'm sorry? I was calling Justin King actually through your website the other day and was like, this, this group is not getting enough attention. Everybody follow them. I'm sorry? Justin King from the fifth column, he actually tagged you guys and said, hey, everybody that follows the 
25th column, check out news to share. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, would you be free for a quick interview? No? Oh, it's fine. Don't worry. Yeah. So we're going to be waiting for an, uh, for a, uh, a, a spokesperson for the Antifa. Um, I'm going to try asking them a couple of questions. How are you guys doing? Oh, great. Great. Uh, would you guys be open for a quick interview? Sure, sure. sure. Cool, absolutely. So, uh, just a quick rundown. We're with an organization called News to Share. We uh, document activism throughout the United States. So, start. Tell us who you are. Um, this My name is uh, Brent Payne. I'm from Columbus, Ohio. I'm a stay-at-home dad and podcaster. All right, wonderful. So, uh, what brought you here today? Uh, just to tell these people that we're, their point of view is a welcome. There's more of us than there is of them. Okay. Absolutely, I understand. Um, so, uh, what are your thoughts regarding uh, police being here in between you guys? Um, I, I, I don't know. You ask if I want to fight them? Oh no! I just I just want to hear what your your take is on it all. Well, I think that they could have avoided this situation if the cops wouldn't have suggested that the peaceful march be shut down. I think they, they helped escalate it. My opinion. Okay, absolutely. Well, thank you very much, sir. Stay safe. So, um, is your spokesperson? Hi, I'm doing well. How are you? TJ. TJ, alright, what's what is this for? Um, it's for an organization called News to Share. We document activism throughout the United States um, just to show what's going on in our country. Okay, and what would you think about uh, just doing an audio interview where you take uh, the videos of the button or my flyer or something? Certainly, yeah, absolutely. I can definitely get that. So, um, I'm just curious, um, so what, what brought you guys here today? Uh, we're here from out of town because we've been driving these knuckleheads out of where we live, and we found the only way to get rid of them is you gotta confront them. Ignoring them ain't gonna make it go away, it's gonna make it worse. So you gotta come, you gotta find them, and you gotta push them out. And so we're here to uh, extend that hand to local folks, and particularly a bunch of local folks that we've already met who are glad that we're here. Okay, well thank you very much. Um, I just uh, want to get your take on this. Uh, why do you think these people came here? Uh, it's a good question. I think they came here because they they secretly resent poor white people because they they want to act like there's a caricature of there's a caricature of uh, white people as rednecks and stupid. I think that's backwards, and I, uh, and I think that that's why they came. They're mistaken because the people who live here are not stupid and they reject this. Okay, and you know what I'm saying? In like 15 minutes, I can we can restart this, but they're about to come down the street, so I need to. Leaders of the Antifa. Um, so it seems that another group is going to be marching in here. Um, we're going to try to get that live. Um, doing sir so for those that are just now checking in we are live with uh, we are live in Pikeville Kentucky where the traditional workers party the National Socialist Movement and the League of the South has put together a rally with a large presence of Antifa counter protesters I'm just around here going and asking questions um, just ha starting conversations with people if you guys have any questions to suggest please let me know
So the, um, the theme of the protest, the, um, the initial protest is uh, to stand up for white working party people. Um, so the Antifa is coming in um, against these individuals. These are a group of people that are going to start marching in. Um, I'm going to try to ask them a couple of questions. How's it going, sir? Would you be free for a quick interview? So I'm with an organization called News to Share. Uh, we yeah, we're good. All right. Apparently this is a uh, group for security here. How are you doing, sir? Doing all right. Uh, would you be free for a quick interview? Not a moment. All right. Sorry. Sorry, I thought. So just an update, uh, Kentucky is an open carry state, so uh, the, what these individuals are doing, they are providing security for this group. Um, this is a chapter of the Oath Keepers. So the individual here is Alan Lardiari with the Oath Keepers. So, uh, what brought you guys here today? What brought us here is, you know, what brought us here mainly today is we've been seeing a lot of violence, a lot of polarization in America. Right? What we're here, we're here to support people's First Amendment rights. That's what we do. We're constitutionally oriented people, mainly veterans. Like I said. And even though we don't agree with, you know, the, <laughs> all of what both of these groups are going to give, we're here to support the fact that they're here to, you know, voice their opinions here, but to make sure it's going to be done in a civil manner. That's it, pure and simple. All right, thank you very much. Okay. Sure. 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 Actually, we're not just one group. We're, you know, several different people, mainly veterans. You know, we got the FW here, we have some other people here, we have some free percentage here, we have uh, some regular militia groups here. We're just basically you can group us as this. We all took an oath. We adhere to that oath strictly. We're here to support freedom of assembly and protest and all that sort of thing. We don't support any of the views of both of the groups, but we're here to make sure that this stuff doesn't get violent. 
We've seen a lot of burnings. We've seen a lot of injuries. And uh, we, we're just not having that in our town. We're not having that. Not in this part of the country. You know, you just go to standing by. Just to make sure, it. sure. We're here to support law enforcement if they'd like. We're here to support these people out here screaming stuff that we don't uh, pretty much agree on. But we're just making sure that everything stays nice and civil. Are you the spokesperson for this for this collection? No, no, I'm sure, but I'm just I'm just a loud mouth. Yeah, sure. I'm uh, Alan Lardieri. Last name's uh, L A R D I U R I. Do you that again, please? Oh, L A R D. L A R D. Yes. I E I R I R I. So, what groups are coming here again, sir? The, oh, you have, uh, I've just, I've, I've been about this process for a We have, uh, you have both keepers, you have three percent groups, you have, uh, you got VFW, and that's all within the confines of our group. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, we are, there's an Oath Keepers as a group Party affiliation okay, that has, you know, a branded name, Oath Keepers. Then, you know, people that call themselves Oath Keepers because we all took the Oath. That's right. Yes, sir. Not. And I want to make it. That has nothing to do with You know, it's just the pigmentation that we're born with. It's not our uh, identity. I'm from local West Virginia. Yeah, we drove by an hour to get here. Guys, a little bit. We drove about three hours to get here. Uh, what it was, we didn't see a whole lot of locals in Pike Food. Kind of step out. But we'd like to see more local turnout. We don't feel it really necessary. I kind of feel bad that we feel like an invasion force when you come to somebody else's town. And, uh, it was actually a town that was I guess so. Yes, uh, yeah, I just wanted to ask real quick. Uh, so, uh, some people say the three percenters or the oath keepers are white supremacist organizations. Is that a characterization you would disagree with? Yeah. What it is, people call you a white supremacist. You know, you're actually a group like this. Well, no, 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 it's okay. Uh, it's just, look, like all of you gathered here today are white, is that correct? Uh, yeah, but we didn't work real hard to be white. Sorry, did we all? No, that's okay. Uh, but here's, here's the thing. Like, there doesn't seem to be a lot of people. Yeah. No, 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 what? I mean, okay. well, that's that's just a, that's kind of representative of the demographic that lives in Kentucky and West Virginia. There's a problem with white states, so to have an overwhelming amount of white people coming from these states is not ideal. So, shame but, on you. Shame on you. But here, here's shame the thing. Shame on you. Thing. you shame on you. About, uh, I'm a mother in Appalachia here to stand up against racism. Yeah, I am raising my children yeah. to know that bullies are wrong and to stand up against bullies. And you, gentlemen, are bullies. You are bullies. Okay. I'm just telling you. Don't know what who you are. You are. You're being bullied. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. And shame on you. Thank you. My grandparents fought Nazis. All right. That's what they did. So did my racism. You'll shut down the cell like you're. So would you be free for a quick interview? No. No. All right, understood. Have a good day. So, uh, guys, we're live right now. Um, I interviewed these individuals first. They'll, they may be in the final cut, so I just want to sort of get their take. So, have you guys ever heard of the Oath Keepers? I have not. No. Okay, so that's what this group is over there. The basic rundown, and they're an individual group. Um, what they say is that they uh, they're here to support the constitutional rights of both groups here to defend police if things do get violent. Um, so, my uh, some of the criticisms that you'll find is that you'll find people claiming that they are a racist group or things like that. So, what are your thoughts about all of this happening? Um, just things that weren't quite expected. Uh, it's just quite surreal. Like, it's surreal? Yeah. Alright. Like no words for it. Yeah, really no words to be honest. Nothing like this has ever happened in my school. Just didn't think it would happen yeah, here? It's not happening in such a small county. Like yeah. I'm just praying it doesn't turn violent. Yeah. Praying it doesn't turn violent? Right, well, thank you very much, guys. Stay safe. or those that support the Nazi organization, or the locals that invited them, that are glad that they're here. I don't care, because the thing is, there is right and there is wrong. And I judge none of them 
by their persons and for what they are, because I'm not judgmental, but I do judge your actions, how you treat others, the things that you say and do, and the person that you portray yourself to be. When you are out here and you are portraying yourself to be a good Christian man, then you are representing that to the rest of the people around you. But however, if you are a good Christian man, you cannot be a part of this Nazi party. They can come out, they can sound, they can start, but like I said, I'm here on my mouth. Just signals a little weird. Um, so, what brought you here today? Well, you know, I wanted to take uh, take a stand against hate, and fascism, and just everything that I don't stand for. You know, these guys think they can come in here and you know promote their ideology and treat us like we're stupid, treat us like we fall for it. And I'm not going to be about that. If I can do something about it, I can. I will. So, so you're from this area? Uh, I've been here for a long time. Been here for a long time. Uh, I, this is, so what do, you, what do you think about this group choosing these people, to, uh, choosing to come to this area? Well, I believe it's insulting, I think. Well, because it's such a conservative area, they think that their ideology will take hold here. They're basically calling us out for being... And it's not the case. There's plenty of minorities here. They uh, a very small percentage of people here. But the thing is, uh, we're... I'm bad at areas now. Right. It's all good, man. Uh, Americans here, many Hispanic Americans here, many. Racism's actually pretty rare nowadays. If you go out in the whole country, yeah, sure, you'll find it. But that's something we're about. Alright, well, thank you very much, thank sir. You. Stay safe. I will. Do you have any water? Yes! <laughs> thank you very much. What's up, Justin? So for those of you that are just now joining, we are live in Pikeville, Kentucky, in which the uh, League of the South and the Traditional Workers Party has come in and to give a demonstration. Um, and the Antifa has decided to come in and intervene. The Oath Keepers has shown up as well. How are y'all doing? Pretty good. Uh, y'all from the area? Yeah. yeah. You guys good if I uh, interview y'all real quick? No. No. 
Would you guys be able to? No? All right, well, thank you very much, guys. Stay safe. back now uh, there were some signal difficulties so we just wanted to put it back on so that people know that this is still going on um, things have, uh, haven't escalated yet nothing violent has happened the oath keepers are in as well as the police Got some uh, coarse language there. Excuse me, ma'am. Would you be free for a quick interview? I would like to do that. Um, Alright, awesome. So, um, I was just over there whenever we heard you guys, uh, whenever I just heard you like just talking with the uh, group over there that came in. Um, just wanted to follow up with you about that because uh, our viewers like really spiked whenever that happened. So, just I want to know what your thoughts are about this whole situation. Okay, wonderful. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so, you. so like, what do you think? Why do you think they chose this area specifically? Like I said, I think the Nazis are bullies. I think they are opportunists. All right, they need to back off and they need to get over their silly race war fantasy. Their mothers should be ashamed of themselves. People in Appalachia have real problems to deal with, and they and we do not need Nazis telling us how to deal with them. They want us to blame our problems on other poor people, on other people who have a waste of our time. Okay, well thank you very much. Stay safe.
So for those of you just now tuning in, we are live in Pikeville, Kentucky, um, where the uh, Traditional Works Party and League of the South decided to convene to host a rally. Um, and it, oh, sorry about that. And the Antifa has stepped in as a means to counter protest. And you have Oath Keepers as well, and police here as a means to deter violence. Sir, would you be free for a quick interview? No. Thank you. Guys, I'm going to try to get an interview with an inter with a member of for the Oath Keepers. Um, No, 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 no. I am. Uh, Absolute clarification I'm, I'm time here. You with Those motherfuckers over there have nothing to do with us. Yeah, no, I'm very aware of that. Yeah, we know the difference between three percent and Nazis. We just. Well, good. I'm glad you know the distinction. Yeah, Some have an issue with that. No, no, we, we understand that. We we have uh, some. Cons I mean, I was an effort. Uh, Hopefully, y'all have been catching some flack because it seems uh, a lot like uh, some of your people who are out there. We're defending uh, fascists in the streets. That's what the gentleman was telling me here. And again, we're so far disconnected, not just by geographic distance, yeah, but they're entirely separate entities, too. Sure. You know, you can get group associated by a name very easily. Yeah. Yeah. Very easily. Yeah. 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 People don't like yeah. to uh, do research. You know, it's very true. Enlightening themselves is not a strong point for most of them, certainly most Americans. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you mentioned that the rich whites have used our skin color against us. Yes. Have used our instinct to fear people who are different than us. They've used workers against workers against us. Sir, would you be free for a quick interview? Uh, yes, right, absolutely. wonderful. So, I'm just, um, just a brief little uh, detail. I'm uh, TJ Roberts with News to Share. Um, so, we just document activism throughout the country. So, I was wondering if you could say like who you are and, and who you're with. I'm not with any particular group. I'm here with a bunch of veterans. And what is that? Make you think of? Absolutely. Engine of skinheads in or out here. They said 30 vehicles or so coming this way. 
Yeah. Anyway, yeah, let me go ahead and continue on with you. I'm sorry about that. Okay, absolutely. So, so, uh, so you're just with a group of veterans here. So, yeah. what brought you guys out here today? Well, for two things. One, we want to, you know, foster. We support free speech. Nobody on either side of this day on the street here is anything that we support at all. I mean, very, very rarely, if anything. Uh, and also to make sure we've seen violence repeat itself over and over throughout America, and we're here to make sure that we're not burning this nice little historic town. That's weird. So you're from this area then? I'm from this region. I'm from, you know, just across the river there in West Virginia. Uh, and, and this is my backyard, so. Absolutely. What else so, here can happen anywhere. So your goal is just to keep people safe throughout yes, this whole thing? Right. And make sure, hey, these guys doing what they're doing. This is how America's supposed to be. This is how it's supposed to be. You know, you got jackasses on the left, jackasses on the right, none of them's fighting. This is great. This is what I like. <laughs> so uh, what do you think about that uh, group, like the rumor that there's a group of skinheads coming in? I think it could be problematic. Um, you know, if we're talking on the tactical aspect, you can look, these guys have completely exposed rear guard. Uh, <laughs> You know, somebody coming from behind, it can be really ugly. If you know these guys are so terribly oriented in any way. So, do you think this will turn violent? Uh, we will do everything to deter that violence. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Stay Appreciate safe. So what you just heard there is that apparently there's a convoy of about 30 plus vehicles of skinheads coming in. Um, I'm assuming to back up the side on my left. between a local pastor and one of the individuals with the uh, with the League of the South. How you doing, sir? I'm here to ask you that. I'm Press. Well, I'm a uh, I'm local. I live here all my life, and uh, I'd heard about this. I heard Homeland Security, snipers on roofs. And we had him many days, 100,000 people here last week, and I said they wouldn't this many police a police here with 100,000 people. So I'm just kind of uh, just taking it all in, you know. Uh, born and raised here, just want to see uh, what's going on. You know, I wonder if this place was picked because. Uh, the Hatfield McCoy feud started here, and the, the basis of hillbillyism started here. And, uh, 
I don't know. Maybe there's not as much red around the necks here as it was maybe a generation back, and people forgot that. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, you know, it's good that everybody can uh, express their views, and hopefully there'll be no violence, and that's, uh, you know, that's what we want to see, a safe uh, expression of people's rights. I think everybody should have the right to express their penis as long as you don't shove it down somebody else's throat. I think that's America. All right, well, thank God you very bless. much, sir. God bless. How you guys doing? Would y'all be free for a quick interview? Sure. All right, cool. I'm with an organization called News to Share. We basically just document activism throughout the nation. I was just wondering uh, what brought y'all out here? Uh, we just came down to show, uh, to support our community. This is not what our community is about at all. I've been to demonstrations since 1972. And it brings back my youth. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it makes you feel young. <laughs> so why do you think this group chose this area? My assumption is that it was because it voted overwhelmingly for Donald Trump, and so they saw that as an open invitation. I thought they'd find more support than that. All right. So, and, and uh, what do you think about that group behind me, the uh, the uh, League of the South? The League of the South? That's who they are. What, what happened to the... Uh, the Traditional, traditional workers. Uh, rumor they has their name again. Rumor has originally it originally was National Socialist for White People. Right? National Socialist White People's Party. Yeah. Uh, rumor has it right. They're on their way right now. Actually, that's I heard a, that's that. a different group. And right. They're a group that's backing them up. This is constitutional rights group. Or something. That's the uh, yes. Okay. Who? Okay. Who are the players? So, I got to know. Okay. This. So the way that um. Confederates is that right over here? Yes. Who, they're what? They, what are they called? Um, League of the South. Um, they're partnered up. They're partnered up with, with the, the uh, with the TWP. There's the anti the anti racist groups. Um, yeah, and the then Antiva, there's somebody told me that there was a tux. there's a what? Texting toxicology. You get toxicology. Toxicology where you put toxic stuff on somebody's name. Hmm. And yeah. Today we of course had agent volunteers. Yeah, and then over here we have the Oath Keepers. Um, they're not aligned with any of the groups. They're here to suppress any violence that happens, ultimately. Um, and then we have police here, and then we have press, and then we have the locals of Pikeville. Oh, and there's some kind of medics that are running around. Yeah, what, what is street medics? Oh, very Sorry? Street medics. Street medics. Yeah, they're there just in case violence does break out or if someone gets overheated or something, because, I mean, it is hot out here. Yeah, but, they're just. Uh, in they're... they're what, what, what organization is behind this? I'm not sure, honestly. <laughs> I could uh, go I go over and ask them. Yeah, well, thank you guys so much for being out here. Thank you. So that was just an interview with a couple of uh, locals here. We'll be back for a qu after a quick commercial break. We'll be back in 20 seconds. And we are back. What organization is it? It's called the White Race. People of European descent. I stand by my people. I stand by my kind. Are you white separatists or I can't hear you? 
look at me. Goddamn, look at yourself for crying out loud, are you? You're white, what's wrong with you? You ashamed of who you are? What, because some stupid professor told you to be ashamed of yourself? To kiss the ass of every fucking piece of shit that walks across the border? What's your name? Amen, amen, brother. Keep going. What's your name? I go by Seiko, S-A-C-C-O. Are you living in the South? Are you not seeing your I'm a white working man. And I'm not ashamed of it. That's who I'm with. My parents and grandparents who built this country. That's who I'm with. My children. I live here. I'm scared. That's why I'm here. I ain't scared. When is we coming home? Somebody over there who knows how to work buttons. And um, those 
We're gonna go on a quick commercial break real quick, guys. And we are back live in Pikeville, Kentucky with a protest between the uh, Traditional Workers Party, the League of the South, and the Antifa. Uh, apparently the Traditionalist Workers Party have not arrived yet. So do be ready for, the, for them. Apparently there are going to be more people. Um, I've been interviewing people throughout this. Um, but not, the locals don't seem very happy about it, but like I'm just going through, making sure everyone's voice is heard in this. How you doing, sir? Should you be free for a quick interview? Uh, no. Really good at that, so. All right, thank you very much. Up out here. This is the end of your ethnicity. It used to be your favorite game. I love it when you try. It's hilarious. I sit at home on the internet laughing at you guys trying to guess my ethnicity. It's fucking great. What do Nazis look like when they dance? Why don't you guys show us? Doesn't it bother some of that goose stepping? Because I really, I really like that. <laughs> Okay, um, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine. Um, she's, she'll, be, she'll be heckling you for the next little while, okay? Okay, here we go. Back to your regularly scheduled heckler. Bye now. No. I just feel like a, a, a good point of information for you guys is that tomorrow is the anniversary of Hitler's suicide. So why don't you follow it? a couple times that, that black people and white people have different conditions for happiness. Do you have any examples of, of what you mean by that? Okay, so um, you can look at just the things here in America that we are lobbying for, right? So in uh, traditionally, uh, when you have a group of, for instance, the Libertarian Party, um, 
there's like a handful of white people in the Libertarian Party. Individual freedoms and rights seem to be a Northern European phenomenon. You know, uh, and then where you had... There's a, currently a convoy of individuals. Um, there are rumors that Christopher Cantwell, a Libertarian activist, is joining this group as well. Um, I'll try to show you show you guys the convoy that's coming in before we take a quick ad break. Uh, the flags with the black X are symbolic of uh, Southern nationalism. See, as you guys can see, there's a group of cars coming in right now. Guys, we're now live with another group of individuals. Um, you can see that there's an entire group forming, preparing to march in again. And for that, um, we will go into a quick, uh, a quick ad break. So we are live now, and it seems that the traditional workers party has arrived. Uh, this will add a lot more numbers to the other group. Um, yeah, you can see this man has a patch saying Nationalist Front. The Nationalist Front is sort of this new coalition of different white supremacist organizations, uh, most notably the National Socialist Movement and the Traditionalist Workers' Party. Um, there's other uh, registered hate groups involved as well. Can we see your shield? So why are you guys here right now? I'm with an organization. Unity? I understood, sir. So, uh, you from this area? Sort of. Sort of? Yeah, sort of. I'm close. I'm within a few hours drive. Alright. So, what do you think about this whole thing that's going on right now? I think it's all we need. I think it's what we need? Yeah, it's a positive message. To help out, uh, right here. Help our people out. Get behind it. All right. So as you guys can see, we have the uh, traditionalist workers' party here. Um, this will likely add a new element to the protest. So I'm going to go and rejoin the uh, main area of the protest real quick, just so, so we can get an idea of what happens when these individuals join in.
So what's going on right now is the Traditionalist Workers Party in partnership with the League of the South is hosting a protest and the Antifa are here to counter protest. Um, that's more or less what is going on right now. If y'all know where Alan is, let him know the place in your boat is getting your bride. <laughs> Not Ralph. So it seems that the Antifa is now marching towards the traditional workers' party. Hey, what you're doing there is a really good thing, man. Thank you for that. So right now we have the Antifa here and they have found the traditional workers party. We can now see that the National Socialist Movement has arrived into the area. Okay, we have a confirmed sighting of Christopher Cantwell of Radical Agenda. So guys, now that we have seen the numbers of the groups, we're gonna go in for a quick commercial break. So we are live now with the traditional workers party. Christopher Cantwell has made an appearance for himself. It seems that the numbers are relatively... Get the fuck out! Oh, 
Mr. Cantwell, quick interview. That's right. So I'm with uh, News to Share. We just attract a libertarian, well, libertarian, conservative, any activism out there right now. Um, I'm also with a couple libertarian organizations, but I just want to know uh, what brought you here in Kentucky. Well, I was interested in uh, this demonstration here. I mean, it seems to me a lot of people who think themselves advocates of freedom uh, are quick to throw uh, unfashionable things uh, like uh, quote unquote racism under the bus. And so uh, uh, I think that there's a lot of interesting things being said by this, uh, this hated minority here that I'm traveling with. And so I, uh, I saw it to be a uh, assisting their security. Understood. Um, so I'm just curious. Um, so I know, understand you were in Auburn University during the uh, Richard Spencer uh, speech. Um, is this anywhere similar towards what happened there? I would say that this is a, a very different sort of event. Um, we are out in more force than, than we were at the A. Spencer thing. I mean, uh, people who are sympathetic to Richard were certainly inside the event. There was no organized uh, demonstration of our people outside of it. Uh, and so I was there live streaming, and I felt insecure a great deal at the time because I was not uh, uh, with a, a great number of uh, uh, people who were ready to defend themselves. Uh, it, this, uh, it also seems that there's a more organized opposition here, uh, perhaps uh, uh, due to the advanced planning of it. I don't know what, what all the uh, planning went into on the other side of it. But this looks like a, a larger uh, thing with a more hostile opposition for it. All right. Um, so just one thing. Um, I saw on one of their banners it says 100% traditionalist, 100% socialist. I was just curious what you thought about the socialist aspect yeah, of that. I, I, uh, I'm not particularly fond of socialism. I, I, I have uh, I've been struggling to keep my mouth shut while they're talking about it here today. Because I am. Uh, look, I, I became convinced that uh, white people as a racial group have interests, and that uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a problem that uh, uh, there are lobbyists and interest groups for everybody but me. Uh, and I and I think it's worthwhile for white people to organize for their interests. Uh, that sadly, you know, it, not not all white people agree on uh, everything, uh, economics much less, and so. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm here for the identitarian portion of it, but I'm not a big fan of the socialist ideas, personally. Okay. So uh, one thing that a lot of critics on the libertarian side talk about you is that you guys are more on the uh, Nazi side of things and that you guys are promoting actual socialism by being foreclosed borders. What do you think of it? What do you have to say with regards to that? Well, I, I would say that uh, borders are not, a, not a, a concept unique to socialism. I mean, basically, wherever you have nations and states, they have borders. Uh, and so if they want to accuse me of, uh, you know, supporting some aspect of statism, I, I suppose they could do that, but it's no more socialist than, than any other government policy. Borders are sort of like in, inherent in property. I mean, if, if people talk about their advocates of private property, and, uh, well, if, if you want to live in a libertarian society, that's a society, if you take it all away, where all the resources are privately owned, and there's going to be a lot of borders. There's going to be borders called property lines, and you're not going to be able to transgress them in a libertarian society. Sadly, while we uh, live under the booth of the states, uh, they do have common spaces, and one of those common spaces that they have is borders. And if we do not want to be invaded by foreign peoples who are hostile towards our way of life, then somebody needs to protect those borders. Now, I'd far prefer for them to be privatized and everything to be handled through property rights and contracts, but that is not the world that we live in. And if white people are eradicated from the United States through open immigration and other policies, then there will be no libertarianism, uh, because anybody who's ever been to a libertarian conference knows the demographic that you're notoriously surrounded by when show up. Understood. Well, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Stay safe. Nice to meet you. Hey, man. Oh, shit. Good to see you, dude. How's it going? So that was Christopher Cantwell, guys. Um, he has arrived in Pikeville, Kentucky. Christopher Cantwell, I'm going to take a quick ad break, okay guys? Thank you, we'll see you later, alright? Okay, so we are all back. We are back with the uh, group here. We have the National Socialist Movement. We also have the Antifa involved. Excuse me, sir, would you be free for a quick interview? No? Alright, understood. How are you guys doing? Yeah, 
right. Would y'all be free for a quick interview? Would you be? I'm sorry. All right. So I um, just want to give you a brief update. Uh, we're with uh, an organization called News to Share. We just we just track uh, activism throughout. The oh, got it. We're not with either bunch. Um, we're here to stay nonpartisan. I was just interviewing one of the figures in there. Um, but yeah, so I'm just curious. Uh, are you guys from this area? All right, understood. So what do you think about this? Uh, why do you think these two groups came to have this little confrontation in Pikeville, Kentucky? Well, this is our hometown. Bro. They need to get the fuck out. We don't believe in garbage, shit. guys. Good you, you know, why do you want to cause all these boys trouble, man? Look at what they've done, you know. And if something gets loose, they think they're going to want to eat their eyes. They ain't got enough for a prayer here. They can't have one out. They have to say it, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So get the hell out of here, man. I'm going to do it for this place, man. So you don't think that these groups are welcome here? I know they ain't. They aren't? No. Alright. What do you think they are? No. I'm uh, I'm just here to yeah. I'm just here to talk about this, get the perspective <laughs> of these guys, those guys and the locals here, because I know that you guys are here as well. This is your hometown. I feel yeah. as though your voice is the most important one. I was saying like this is your hometown. I feel as though your voices are the most important one. Oh, yeah, so, um, so what we usually just interview the people in, within the bo different sides of the activism. But I feel like we need to be interviewing the uh, the locals. Same old hillbillies can't do. Same old. Absolutely. Sir. We got these vibes, man. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. sir? Stay safe. Hey. Hey. Stay safe. Absolutely. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Stay safe, sir. Would y'all be free for a quick interview? I see the U Pike shirt. Alright. So, um, I'm just here to, like, just, I, I just want to hear your interpretation. Uh, what do you think about this whole thing going on right now? Um, we do not want the Nazis in Pikeville. They were not invited. We do not agree with their views. They thought that they could come down here and take advantage of the hillbillies. Well, we aren't what they thought they, what they thought that we were. So we aren't happy. I agree with this side. That side is the one with the guns. We were warned about this side being with the guns. It's Absolutely. Um, that's one of the top things that I kind of heard as I'm interviewing locals. I'll usually ask them why these guys chose this area. And the typical answer is that they say they're trying to manipulate them. They think that they're all stupid hillbillies. So is that sort of your thoughts in regards to it? I agree with that. that. That's what they thought. But they thought completely wrong about the Appalachian people. And the Appalachian society. We love all people. We don't care your race, your gender, your religious views. We care if you're a good person. That's all that we care about. So are there any specific issues there? that these guys stand for that you specifically are just uh, opposed to? Everything. 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 That I know about them is awful and disgusting and it's about to make me physically sick. Seeing them here. So understood. Well, thank you very much. Stay safe. So guys, after that, we're going to take a quick ad break now. All right, we will be back. Thank you very much. Her recording is for us. Well, guys, we... Yes, that was Christopher Cantwell. I was live with Cantwell. 
Now, I just want to hear you guys see this. So we have this group of individuals here with the tr Traditional Workers' Party and the National Socialist Movement. And in addition, we have the Antifa here. They're both groups are in, in just a, in mass numbers have assembled in Pikeville, Kentucky. All of the goal is spreading their message. So we're here back. We're back. Sir. Good? Should we free for a quick interview? You already got me. Oh yeah. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I had to stop the pot I had to stop the live streaming, so we can do it again, you boy. Sure, so <laughs> since we last interviewed you, a lot more people showed up on that side. What are your thoughts on this? Man, to be perfectly honest, I never realized there was that much trash in Eastern Kentucky. <laughs> One thing that I know is that most of them are from Eastern Kentucky. It's the same situation, you know. We got a lot of people from both sides traveling from Uptown, our state, get you. We got one. Just depends on which side of the fence you're on, whether or not you're going to support that group. Personally, I appreciate everybody that come here to make it look a little less like hot hits for hits. Well, understood. Well, thank you very much, sir. Stay safe again. Thank you. Thank you. but University of Pikeville actually canceled their classes due to this rally. They wanted to make sure that the students were safe as much as possible.
y'all doing? Would y'all be would y'all be good for a quick interview? You sure? All right, y'all from here? All right, stay safe. Now we can sort of get an idea of what's going on here. Uh, we're gonna go for in for a quick, quick break. So we're back right now, and things have gotten a lot larger. Real quick, think about the new increase in numbers. So. We're back with one of our other guests here. Um, can you say your name again for the camera? Uh, my name is Zach Thacker. Zach, all right, pleasure. So I just wanted to let you know, I've interviewed this individual twice before. Just now though, I'm back with him after the, uh, after the National Socialist Movement arrived. I just want to hear his interpretation of what's going on right now since he is a local. Uh, it's just completely surreal. Like I said earlier, I never thought that Pablo would be seen from something like this. It's just kind of crazy. Do you think that this will affect the public image of Pikeville? Uh, I believe so. Do you think it'll be in a public or a negative, in a, in, a, in a positive or negative way? I think it'll be negative. Think it'll be negative? Yes, sir. All right, understood. But, uh, so, is there anything that you want the people to know, like with regards to Pikeville and everything? Uh, this isn't how we are. Uh, these people have no association with us, really. Uh, we're just kind of trapped in here. We have no idea why we're in here. So, I don't want any negative images of Pikeville or anything like that. Understood. Well, thank you very much, sir. Stay safe. You too, man. <laughs> Would y'all be free for a quick interview? Um, we're not the press people. We can get you to the press people. I deal with them. Certainly. Sure. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I've interviewed hey, James. one. James, get Jerry. What? Oh, yeah, press. Oh, press. Yeah, yeah. Been out here since like 1.30 and I haven't drank anything. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah. Here, get so one thing that the Antifa has been doing here is they're actually uh, providing water for individuals that are just overheated or dehydrated. So definitely taking them up on that offer. Seriously, man, it means a lot. Absolutely, we don't want anybody overheating, man. Thank you very much. Drink up. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in the shade for a bit, and then you do start to get hazy and find a medical. Absolutely. Yeah. Here, thank you. Yeah. Are you with press? Oh, All right. this individual right there? Wait. You want some water, man? Okay. I was about to say, yeah, you're out of the Yeah, yeah, if you need me, we're right here. Excuse me, ma'am, would you be free for a quick interview? I think, all right, understood.
forces of communism that have stood against us for decades fighting white rights. It's interesting, you all believe in this black power, brown power, the power of all these different people, homosexual power, but the moment someone stands up for white rights, going to be right back after a quick commercial break. We are back live with the with the protest in Pikeville, Kentucky. Um, so yeah, oops, we will uh, be walking around. for a quick interview? I'm not a designated press spokesperson. What outlet are you with? I find you the appropriate press spokesperson. I'm with an organization called News to Share, sir. Never heard of it. Uh, we track activism throughout the United States. 
What? News to share? Yeah, news uh, number two, share. Um, somebody pull up his website. Is that .com or .org? I'm not sure about our website. I'm a, I'm a social media affiliate. We're, we're streaming through Facebook Live, actually. I'm sorry, we only designate press people in real media organizations. You have an excellent day, sir. Is in what? We only designate press spokespeople to real media organizations. You have an excellent day, sir. All right, sir. Have a great day. So that individual really didn't want to be interviewed. Um, so now we're gonna go back through, uh, walk through, find a couple of people. So one thing um, that we run seeing is just like we have this heavy police presence right now. So one of the things that I'm going to attempt to do is I'm going to try to find. So guys, now we're going to go in and take a quick commercial break. Thank you very much. Y'all be able to be, be open for an interview? Not me. I'm not even up to you. Understood, sir. Be available. Okay. Socialism. 
is a vision of a free world, a fair world, and a prosperous world. to celebrate a national socialist revolution for the workers of this nation. That we can break the bonds of debt slavery. We can break the bonds of capitalism. We can break the bonds of being exploited by the bosses. We are the ones fighting for the workers. We are the ones that are the future of the workers and our families. And we are the ones that are ushering in a new age that is peaceful and prosperous. To all of my comrades, Thank you for your sacrifices and to all the workers on the other side of the line. Stop scabbing for the bosses. You advance the interests of the globalists. You are fighting on the side of big capital. If you want to fight for socialism, if you want to fight for justice, if you want to fight for the workers, you should be on this side of the barricade. Steal victory. So guys, we're gonna go on to a quick ad break now. Thank you very much. Sir, does there have to be a press contact for police? Is there? Do you know if there's a press contact, sir? We're just here to assist, so we probably want to ask one of the pike people. Pike. Uh, Thank you very much, sir. You 
Civil Rights of America for 43 years now. We have brought our message of racial solidarity to city after city all across America. And our message is resonating with mainstream America. Why? Because we talk about the things that matter to the working class. Great guys, all right? Thank you very much. I'm just a quick rundown of who we are. We're an organization called News to Share. We just track activism throughout the country. Um, so I just want to get your interpretation. Uh, what brought you out here, sir? I was planning on going to the movie, and somebody told me that there was some white supremacy downtown. I've been here for three years, so it's sort of new to me. But uh, I decided I still want to go to the theater anyway. I still want to go to the downtown area. I like walking through here. And I wasn't going to be deterred simply because these guys showed up. I pay taxes here, so why am I hiding in my house? Because these guys show up. Absolutely. 
So, why do you think they chose this area? Uh, you know, as a the percentage of the population that's white is pretty high, so I guess they assume that they would get a lot of support here. But, uh, there's a lot more people against them than for them, obviously. So, they're not well received in this community, obviously. Uh, they, just, they just want to get attention. They're not well known. They want to get attention. They want people to look at them. So, this is a, probably the best opportunity to do so. All right. Well, thank you very much, sir. Stay safe. I agree with you. I can barely hear them either as well. On this, uh, what brought you here today? I go to the university, so I heard about it and I was like, I'm gonna hear what they have to say. You wanna hear what these guys have to say? Uh, so far, what do you think about them? I'm not impressed. I mean, they have a right to say what they have to say, and they have the right to stand right here, so. Okay, understood. So, why do you think this group chose this area? Small town. I mean, they came all the way from Detroit to come here. I, that's, that's what blows my mind. I don't know why they would drive all the way from Detroit to come here. So, understood. But yeah, so. Uh, all in all, uh, how do you think like this area is reacting to this whole thing? I don't think this area is on their side. I look over there, I don't see no one that I know. So, well, thank you very much, sir. Stay safe.
sir. Is everyone okay over here? All right, I just saw that there was a little group here, someone on the ground, I just wanna make sure. It's crazy. Local? Huh? I'm from uh, Lexington, about two hours uh, northwest. You? Uh, I'm coming from Ohio. I'm from the locals, uh, free press? Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, yeah, we wanna we want have the locals on the press. Oh, okay. Um, just because they did most of ground organizing. Understood. I'm trying to figure out what the crew is if you want to talk to anyone. Yeah, that's sort of what I've been doing. I've just been walking around, talking with people both sides and locals, especially. Because, I mean, I just feel like that's the voice that really needs to be heard right now because it's such yeah. a small town. It is. That's why they call for backup. Yep. Thank you very much, sir. Guys, we're gonna go on a quick short, uh, quick commercial break. Be right back. How you doing, sir? Good, all right, a little hot, but. <laughs> Globalist, 
federal bureaucracy, this communist, sick, gluttonous bureaucracy. You people over there, you have been brainwashed in the matrix. You've been turned into pitiful sheeple. You're a bunch of rainbow-loving, George Soros-paid globalists that want an international race-mixed mongrel America. We stand for the white race. Our race is our nation, and our nation is our race. 152 years ago, when the South was in the feet of the federal government, our people could not vote. They had Yankee troops down here with their blue coats. How you doing, sir? Should you be free for a quick interview? I'm not good at all. Alright, understood, sir. Stay safe. Quick interview. I would, all right, so just a quick rundown with an organization called News to Share. Uh, what we do is we just track activism throughout the United States. Um, so I'm just curious. Uh, so I'm guessing you're a local based on your sign? I'm uh, really not. You own me this sign. Actually, my sign. Oh, that's your sign? I'm from Lexington. So I'm okay. I'm without a sign. I'm, a, I'm from there as well. But yeah, so you're so you're the local here. You're the one that has taught, have brought that sign up, right? Yeah. All right, wonderful. So I just want to get your interpretation of what's going on here. What are your thoughts on the group behind me? Well, they're Nazis. That's clear. And like, I, I'm a history major. I, I like I like to watch politics. And historically speaking, fascism is a destructive force to one's own country and every other country around. It. If we let people like this get in power, then what happens to the people they don't like, minorities, people of color, what have you, Jews, gays, it doesn't matter. These people are preaching open hatred. Uh, and, I mean, and there are racists in eastern Kentucky, don't get me wrong, there are plenty. But the last thing we need is like good, innocent people falling victim to like the machinations of a fascist and neo-Nazi organization. So you don't think that these people represent the people of Pikeville? Absolutely. They're not from here. They're from Tennessee. Okay. They're just here to try and stir up uh, racist undertones and common people. Understood. All right, so uh, with that in mind, why do you think they chose this area specifically? It's Cole County. Uh, if you say, I'm pro Cole, you get everybody surrounding you. They love you. These people, when they made their post, I've been monitoring since it's first uh, been announced. They said we're pro coal, pro lot, pro Eastern Kentucky. They ran on a beautiful, beautiful platform to convert the common Eastern Kentucky into that. Understood. Well, thank you very much, sir. Stay safe. Thank you. And we're going to go on to a quick commercial break.
be free for a quick follow up? Yeah, sure, man. All right, wonderful. So, what? Uh, just what? What has happened so far since the last time I interviewed this individual? Um, the uh, the National Socialist Movement and the Traditional Workers Party has shown up. So as of right now, I just want to hear your assessment of like what's going on. Over there. A little bit of the same. A little bit more people. A little bit more noise, but. Everybody's uh, respecting boundaries so far. So, so do you think there's a chance of this turning violent at all? I really honestly don't think so. I'm not much of a gambler, but uh, uh, I, don't, I don't see anything like that. Usually things like this now, your, your big choke point and your big moment of intensity is when people start to disperse. That's usually when that thing kicks off. I understand. Well, thank you very much, sir. Thank you, man. No After a quick break. And we are back with the Antifa and the National Socialist Movement.
right back after a quick ad. You know how much they actually consume? It's nowhere near, nowhere near the people. Like, how so? If, I, if I'm paying taxes for these guys to live, I'm saying, why are you more concerned with the fact that someone who came as a refugee? Because we're, we're not talking about okay, refugees. That's one. That's one. Is poverty not something you can be a refugee from? You gotta work hard, man. There's, there's a job for everybody in this country. There's not a job for everyone in this that's Mexico, dude. I'm talking about America. Yeah. We've been outsourcing our jobs. We've been outsourcing immigrants. our jobs forever. Yeah. Yeah. That's all you got? A lot of our a lot of our audiences are actual anarchists, but <laughs> well, I think anarchy is a great theory, just like communism is a great theory. Socialism is a wonderful thing. But we need to incorporate imperfect treatments and human corruption and nothing is as good as Well, thank you very much. Uh, we're going to go on to a quick commercial break, guys. We'll be right back. And we are back. Okay, are you guys seeing the video? that the, um, the Antifa decided to try to move some of the boundaries there. Police quickly intervened and put the boundaries back up. Um, yeah, that's what just happened there.
saying with the, I'm a new guy with an organization of news to share? Yeah. Um, hang in. Thank you very much. So, thank you very much. Right back after a quick commercial break. But yeah, so I'm back here right now. Um, police have been moving the press out unless they're part of the mainstream media. So I'm gonna go. Uh, are you mind being in a part of a quick interview? No. But yeah, so that's just some of the things that's been going on right now. Um, so really, this is the only place that I can be at for the moment. Uh, sorry, guys. members of the press that was just walking back through there. Well guys, an update. It seems that the National Socialist Movement individuals are leaving right now. Um, Sorry, sir.
So currently they're lining up. Keeper said this is going to be one of the more dangerous times um, in which they start heading out. So just be ready to uh, see, to be ready for anything. Oh, I'm a uh, non-partial. I'm with an organization called News to Share. We just track News activism throughout the country. Good. So, um, I just to know. yeah, absolutely. So it's like every issue right now. I'm currently following stories on jury discretion in Lexington, actually. So, yeah. So. Uh, sounds like good. Do y'all feel prepared for their exit? Yeah. All right, wonderful. Thank you very much. Just a phone call away. <laughs> so that we're going to take a quick ad break. Thank you very much, guys. And we are back. Get your camera ready. Now's the more dangerous time. Let's go. Huh? Let's go. They're about to leave. That's the most dangerous part of it. Guys, we're gonna try to catch them at their ex uh, just try, try to catch the vi video of their their exit because the Antifa will more than likely be following them. You know what happened that's the Sorry. You know what's going on over here? They're leaving. No, they got the cops over here. They said someone came over here to fire. I don't know, man. Let's go this way. This way. So guys, we're going to go over to the area where they were parked at the time. They were uh, parked over there. Huh? No, I'm still streaming. Unless you want to go back to the place where they have that whole thing afterwards. Oh. 
So the uh, National Socialist Movement is now heading out right now. They have received escort from the police. I'm just gonna keep a distance. Um. So guys, apparently a guy had a heart attack, which has led to this to be... D okay, so no, I'm getting conflicting reports. Someone may have had a heart attack, someone may not have. Guys, right now we have a have a full confrontation right now.
something. Do I it. I want you. I need an escort tonight. Hang out Louisville some more. I need an escort Go tonight, buddy. You look real sweet. I'll see you there. Yeah. You look real sweet yeah. on the back of that truck. You don't tell me about that. You look like a mask, motherfucker. I love it. All right, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. You too, Papa. I'll hang it up. We're around too, motherfucker. Oh, oh, take a picture of that. Get the fuck out of here. Take that. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, Red. Hey, man, you were the worst host of a comedy show I've ever seen. Y'all were funny enough. Oh, yeah. Help my people with these help my people. I fell. They got Priuses. That's stealing our moves. That's stealing our moves. Can't be my fucking hate this what are y'all just following fucking orders? What if they were in power, huh? That makes y'all fucking Nazis. That's what makes it. I bet a lot of your granddads fought against us. Fucking three four generations ago, we were shooting Nazis in Europe. Shooting will never solve anything, huh? Shooting will never solve anything, sir. Only love does. No violence, man. Don't be stop the Nazis. And I love your area. I appreciate you. But love not the stop the Nazis. He's in sorrow. Look at the whole fucking reason with Okay, I, I tried to, and I yeah, tried you to. Yeah, you tried. Put your gun up. Get away. Okay, okay. He still appreciate you. you. He still you. Okay. Ask you a question. You can still appreciate you. Can I stop fighting the Nazis? Absolutely. 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 Put your gun up. I'm looking at you. Let him speak. Fuck out. I'm looking at you, dude. Put your gun up. I'm looking at your sunglasses. Draw that! Don't hold it! Yeah, what are y'all gonna do, son? Huh? Put it back in your car! Y'all! Don't do something! Put it back in your car! They're not! We know one guy's side, they tell us! The cops and they go hand in hand or something! Put it back in your car! Hey man, that gun does not make you look big! In fact, it actually makes you look tiny than you are! Go home, little boy! Go home, your mom! Come on! Y'all have to wear fucking sunglasses. I'm sorry you guys all lost your weekend. You probably home fishing. I'm sorry about that. What? I gave you. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, fuck out of here. Hey, y'all know how that gets on the ground. So Riot Squad has moved out. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break. So now Kentucky State Police has issued riot police out here in, in order to make sure that all sides are leave safely. You know how to get here, but you don't know how to leave. Get the fuck out of So as of right now, they are all heading out of the... Get that mob out of here. We have to have right now. We have to have right now.
my broadcast hose right there, right there. So the cops are currently facing the Antifa at the moment due to the fact that the that the other group is currently within their vehicles and leaving as of right now. Corey, no, no one has a Pepsi. Alright, so Christopher Cantwell has just left. We'll be right back after a quick break. So we are back now, and the uh, the ride police are starting to head out now. <laughs> they are currently pursuing the Antifa. Um, And with that, we will conclude this programming. Thank you all for tuning in.